All right guys, uh, welcome back to Suburban Ranch. This is Dan. We're gonna continue today with the refresh of our brake system on our GMC 1500. Uh, and today we're tackling the rear drum brakes. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. So the first step here is to actually remove the drums. Um, these actually are, were not too bad. Sometimes you have to beat on these drums a little bit to get them off and kind of pry at them a little bit. Uh, but some of the things we noticed as soon as we take a look in here is you can see all of these cracks in the shoe itself. So we've got a crack here. We've got a big, big crack in the shoe here. So these brakes are just really old um, and in need of a refresh. So we're going to be doing everything today. We'll be doing the shoes. Uh, we'll be doing the wheel cylinders and all of the hardware as well. Uh, so the first step in getting this job done is to actually disconnect the parking brake cable. So if you come down here, you can see that there is a little end on that cable that just loops around this arm. And then there's a spring here that provides the return tension to the pedal. So we'll use a pair of vice grips and a flat screw. All right, so I grabbed the end of that cable with the vice grips and I used my screwdriver to take some tension off of that spring. And then we just popped it out of the arm here. Now that we've got the parking brake disconnected, uh, we're gonna take off these two keeper springs that hold your shoes on. So we'll start on this side. I've got just a, a little special tool here that helps you push these in and rotate them. Um, but obviously you can do this with just a pair of pliers as well. So the pin comes through the backing plate and then basically it just comes through the hole here. And then you make a 90 degree turn and that's how it that's how it's held together. Do the same on this side. So the way that we're making this video is actually gonna to try to remove as few of springs as possible and take this whole thing off as an assembly. And I think that actually works a lot better than trying to take off all of these individual springs with the uh, brakes on the vehicle. So now that we've got those two keepers on, our, our shoes are pretty loose. And so what we can do down here is just kind of pry them out. And over this, this piece on the bottom that they both rest in, and that will allow you to take off this bottom spring really easily, just with your hands. So you've got now the bottom spring off. We've got the two keeper springs off. Now the entire brake system here should come off as an assembly. So we'll just kind of pull this out. And just kind of wiggle the whole system out here. And there you've got it. You've got your adjuster, your main springs, um, your adjuster spring, your emergency brake lever, all as one system. So that's the entire brake system that we just pulled off. Um, and we really didn't have to battle any of those springs other than the emergency brake cable. Uh, that was really the only one that we had to that we had to fight with. Uh, so next step, we're gonna get some brake cleaner. Just hose this whole area down with these drum brakes. Everything gets pretty grimy back here. Um, so we'll clean everything up and then we'll pull our wheel cylinder off and start putting on the new parts. We've sprayed everything down with brake cleaner. Uh, next up is to remove this wheel cylinder. So we're, we'll be replacing it with an AC Delco wheel cylinder. Uh, that's the part number there for you. So to get this guy off, uh, I would recommend breaking the uh, line open. So I've just got some paper towels under here to, to catch everything. Okay, so we've got the brake line loose. I'm just gonna snug it back up. And then we're gonna go ahead and take out these two bolts. So there's one bolt on either side that hold that wheel cylinder on. Second bolt. So our wheel cylinder should be loose. We get just a little bit of tension from the brake line. I'll hold it from this side. Try to 
hold my finger over the end of that. So we've got our old wheel cylinder out. And our new wheel cylinder here. And we'll go ahead and just get this brake line started in the new wheel cylinder. keep us from losing too much fluid. We did bleed the brakes before we started, which I should have mentioned. Um, and the reason that we, we did that was um, to get all of that old brake fluid out of the lines so that we weren't pumping the old brake fluid into the new wheel cylinder. little bolts started here. So now I'll snug up these two bolts holding the wheel cylinder on and then we'll tighten up the brake line. The new wheel cylinder is in. Um, the next step is we want to assemble our shoes and springs and everything before we put them onto the truck. But before we do that, you want to grab your old shoe because we actually have to reuse this parking brake lever. Um, this doesn't come with your new shoes. So if you just flip it over, you'll see there is a clip that holds it on. So I'm not sure the best way to do this. Uh, I'm going to use a couple of screwdrivers and just kind of try to pry it off here. should come off. Looks like I've got it opened enough. There we go. So we've got that off and now that arm will come off as well. And we'll clean that up and show you how to get the new shoes assembled. So for this brake job, we bought uh, all new hardware. So we've got a new adjuster and we've got a new spring kit as well. In your spring kit, you'll find a pin, a spring washer, and an E-clip. And those are the three pieces you're going to need to reattach this emergency brake um, lever. Now we've got our brake shoe with the emergency brake lever attached. Uh, the E-clip, the new E-clip is on the back and the new pin and that spring washer does go on that front face there. Next up, we will put our main spring on. So it just goes into the hole there and then in that same hole on the other shoe. We've got our adjuster here and I've got it almost all the way adjusted in because we are putting new shoes on the truck so they'll be uh, pretty tight. And so to put this in, we'll just put it in the notch on the on the front shoe there, same notch on the rear shoe. And we'll just kind of position the two together there. Next up is the uh, adjuster spring, so that'll go in the bottom hole down here. And then we've got our adjuster spring hooks there. Uh, our our shoes came with this roll pin already installed, but the kit did come with a new roll pin as well. So if your shoes don't, you'll have to install that roll pin. And you'll just drop the adjuster over that roll pin and just stretch this, sp this spring back and slide the adjuster back behind. And that is ready to go on the truck now. Before we put our brake shoe assembly back on the truck, uh, we're just going to lube some of the um, metal to metal touch areas. So you've got three points on each of these backing discs that you want to lube, or really six points. So three on the front and then three on the back. So we'll just take a little bit of this and put it on each of those points. So here's the new shoe assembly ready to go back on the truck. We've got our grease applied at all those points. So we will just thread it down 
around the axle here. Pull it apart a little and feed it over our new wheel cylinder. So just like that. Okay, that is the top. And on the bottom down here, we need to install our new bottom spring. Just gonna bring that shoe nice and close here. There we go. And then I will stretch the shoes over this bottom plate here. So next up, uh, we'll run our pins that come through the backing plate and put our front compression springs on that hold the shoes onto the backing plate. I've pushed the new pin through the backing plate and through our shoe. Uh, these springs go with the small size side facing the shoe. So we'll feed that into our tool like that. one side. So we have both of the compression springs now on the front of the shoes. Next up, this bottom spring that we had installed, we want to roll that back so that it rides just right under that, that um, curved piece there. And then the last step is to connect our emergency brake. So we've got our parking brake reconnected. Next up, test fit our new drum. So there's no drag at all from the brakes there. It's about what we expected. And the reason for that is because we had screwed this adjuster way, way in. So just grab a flat screwdriver and you'll just rotate the adjuster here. And you'll keep extending that adjuster. You wanna have just a little bit of drag as you rotate that drum. We've threaded the adjuster out, so we have good contact between the drums and the uh, shoes. Also just added a little bit of brake grease here on the face um, of the hub as well, so that our drum won't stick. And so I'll show you guys what it looks like. Go ahead and slide this back on. And we have just a tiny bit of drag there between the drums and the shoes. Uh, the last step here is obviously to bleed the brakes. Uh, we're not going to show that on this video today. But if you like this content, please do come back and uh, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of projects on this truck.